I think it's quite nice to make it though, because then I can go like this. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to make a green salad. Such a simple thing to do, but so many people still buy shitty lettuce in plastic bags and baby leaves, no flavour, blah, 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 the list goes on. Let's make a proper green salad where it's actually like a feature centrepiece on your table, whether you're eating that as a side or a starter or whatever. But the essence is really good lettuce, some nice herbs for like those different tonal notes that you get from herbs, so like mint, really fresh, dill, a bit like anise, and for parsley, which is a bit more robust. And then we've got some um, tardivo, which is a, a winter radicchio, and it's like in this really nice shape. Um, what kind of shape is that, like a canoe? So an, an elf's shoe, maybe. My old boss once said to me, don't break up the leaves. Big leaves are so chic. So, big leaves are chic, baby. First, I'm gonna pick the herbs for the salad. I'm just gonna mix them all together, because essentially, it's gonna go in a big bowl together. Dill. It's all adding to, it's adding to the dish. We're not, we're, we're not adding for the sake of just adding, you know, adding, because it's, it's tasty, because it's pretty. And then the parsley. Parsley, mint, and dill. Delicious. <laughs> Bosh, something like that. Okay. So next up, I just need to wash uh, the lettuce, but leave them whole because they're chic. So wash them. You know, these leaves are quite delicate. You don't want to like go smushing them around. Good bit of kit to have. Lift the leaves out. And again, if you're using one of these, you don't want to overcrowd the bowl because we don't want to bruise the, bruise the leaves when we're spinning it. Lettuce in there, nice and dry. All these nice big leaves, lovely color, looking at those pretty pinks and everything. Tardivo, which is a part of the radicchio family. So let's trim that off the bottom. Look at that inside. Nature's beauty. It's the second component. We've got beautiful leaves, we've got lovely herbs, and now we're just gonna bring that all together with the with the dressing. For the dressing, it kind of like makes or breaks the whole dish, because I mean that on its own. Not that fun, unless you're a rabbit. Um, so you've really got to make a strong dressing that's gonna coat the leaves, it's gonna be the right amount of tart, the right amount of bitter, the right amount of sweet, and the right amount of spicy. I like to go in with a crushed clove of garlic. Smash the fuck out of that. <laughs> that is the hardest job we've got was crushing that one clover garlic. That can just go straight in the jar. The general ratio is if you've ever, ever made a dressing, it's sort of one part vinegar, three parts oil. That's, that's a rough estimate. So if you, if you just think one to three, then you're doing all right. I'm using a nice white wine vinegar, Moscatel. Single variety. Produced in Catalonia. If you're just going to buy a shit vinegar from a supermarket, you're never going to get the best dressing out of it. You need, if, if you want some, because it's, it's a third of your dressing. And so if you're using a shit vinegar, then you're not going to get a good, good end, end product, basically. Bit of vinegar, going with a little bit of honey, probably like a tablespoon. You can always adjust the sweetness at the end. And then you've got the mustard. I like to go in a big tablespoon of mustard as well. And pepper and a good pinch of salt, the oil. So you just basically want to go, and you've really got to shake it with a bit of flair. It's really, you need to go a bit like this, like this, like this. Like this. <laughs> it's 
So we're going with the oak leaf, some of the tardive, nice handful of the Thalanova, and then some herbs. So we've got parsley, dill, mint, all of it basically. So you just toss that around. So we've got to toss it before you put the dressing on, just so we've dispersed all of the lettuce. And you sit, notice how I'm tossing that quite lightly. The vinegar that's in the dressing will start to make these leaves deteriorate quite quickly. So that's why you always toss a green salad right at the end, before you plate, just before you eat. It doesn't want to be swimming in dressing, okay? I'm just using a spoon to lightly lift up. You can use your hands. I'm just, lit. you see, I'm just shaking the bowl, lifting up the leaves, and it's going to get a nice even coating like that, and we're not having to manipulate it too much. People talk about the salad at dinner, if you've made a beautiful salad, you know, if you've just opened a packet from the supermarket, and it's like baby leaves, and you just toss like a shitty balsamic pre-made dressing, and they ain't gonna talk about it. You can tell that there's effort gone into making the salad, obviously, it's a big effort. Mm. But it's just so simple, the ingredients are so simple, and it's one of those dishes that are forgotten about, I think, the green salad, like, is the amount of shit green salads you see around, like. Really, this is just like a classic example, the no dish left behind. <laughs> I suppose you've got a side for, for every meal. And it would be my honour to be on your dinner table every meal. <laughs>